All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, today, today I have a special guest, uh, Mark G. Mark Godilano. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hey. Hope everyone is uh, doing okay in this time. And yeah, thanks, Ty, for inviting me to this uh, cool channel. Hey, no problem, man. It's a, it's a pleasure. So, yeah, we just want to have a quick discussion or debate. No, just discussion. <laughs> okay. Um, well, before we start, you know, uh, some people might not know who, who we are, right? So we, we basically do event photography. You know, I've been working with Mark with a few weddings and other events. So um, how, how did you start with photography, Mark? Um, well, for me, it is actually, it started in the Philippines. Um, I remember when, way back in like college, uh, my first DSLR, or not DSLR, but the point and point shoot camera is like a HP. Uh, point and shoot um, that was given to me with my aunt from the US. Um, at that time, we had, we had cell phones, but the quality is not that good. Um, and yeah, it, it's when it started um, everything. And I think I was in that generation where, like, you know, you go in the mall and then you can see people with DSLR stuff in their decks. And, you know, it's more like a, you know, uh, more, more and more friends are doing it. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, nice. Did you started shooting with the uh, Nikon already, or what was your first DSLR camera? That is actually a funny story. Um, so <laughs> after, like, when I started working, so I, I was like, okay, I want to save up for like buy a second hand second hand uh, camera. Right. And my colleague, my colleague is he's um, selling his um, Canon 1100D. I think at that time it's like a entry level camera with uh, a kit lens. And then okay, I'll, I'll buy it from you because I want to, you know, try doing some uh, photography stuff like that. Right. And then he backed out. It was like, sorry, man, I, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I did some research, um, and then a friend of mine, uh, I found out that he's selling his uh, Nikon D90, D90. So and then I bought it with the kit lens 18, uh, 105 at the time. So yeah, that's when when I started. Yeah, like the D90 was one of those really nice camera. I think it's one of those camera that does uh, video, right? Like it does uh, shoot video. It does videos, yeah. Uh, 720p, I think, at the time. Yeah. Okay. All right. So sorry, guys. My camera is up there, so I just I'm just gonna keep looking at you up there. Okay. So. <laughs> so yeah, like what what do, what do you do aside from uh, for photography? I know you've been doing some, uh, you know, aside from family, of course. Uh, you've been doing a lot of. Uh, uh, fitness activity and you know keeping yourself busy active especially just uh, pandemic so well I, I tried <laughs> <laughs> um, actually my first love is, is being an IT um, like when I was in high school I know uh, what course to get in college um, so I am a graduate of um, information technology I have bachelor's degree uh, that's when I started I, I think I my love for technology with computers um, helping people, you know, uh, customer service, stuff like that, troubleshooting, so. Okay, and, and that's and also what I like about you, man, is, yeah, you're, you know, into, like, technologies, you know, we, we share kind of the same passion with, you know, I can tell with your computer and your background. <laughs> it's just a background. <laughs> Right, you know, like, uh, our, you know, our sound system, you know, like the Sono sound system, you know, we're not promoting it, but, it, you know, it's really yeah. nice. To, you know, Who knows, they, they, might, they might contact you for a review. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, okay, I'll keep an eye on it. So, so yeah, like what, what uh, or how, you know, how's uh, COVID uh, affected your business, you know, your, um, your photo shoots, your weddings and stuff like that? Oh, like, just like all, like most, most photographers, a um, lot of, lots of clients. Had moved your dates, um, canceled, and some, you know, just moved two, two years from now. Um, some clients still went through with a wedding with very limited. Um, and it actually feels kind of sad, like, you know, being in a church, um, seeing the couple, just the couple and their parents and the priest and you and the videographer. Right. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, everyone's affected. Uh, it's not just me. It's not just you. It's, it's everyone, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that's why, as much as possible, I was trying to be lenient with my clients as well. Like, okay, you know what? Um, if you need to move the date, I, I'll work with you. Um, as long as there's there's no conflict and everything in the schedule, that's fine. I mean, no no need for like, you know, you have to pay extra or something like that. Right, and and that's good. You know, I I also do the same thing. So I mean, 
it's you know this is the time where we help out each other customer service right so um, do what the, the best that we can to help out our clients and of course as long as we're available you know we'll we'll accommodate right so so that's yeah. a good thing about it uh, you know uh, changing gears a little bit um, the reason why I brought you here is uh, I, I want to talk about uh, I know you have a lot of gears, you know, you've been into like now I, I know you shoot Sony and you've got Nikon cameras. Um, what are your thoughts uh, on extended warranties? Okay, now just for cameras, okay, cameras and lenses. We're not going to talk about like for electronics in general, just for, for cameras. So like so start with, you know, where, where do you buy your stuff? Where do you buy your cameras? Um, actually, I, my first camera that I bought here in Canada, uh, my first upgrade, um, I, I got it from Best Buy. Because I'm not promoting Best Buy. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Best Buy, I know you worked you you worked it before. <laughs> Who me? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know what? Uh, yeah, Best Buy because they have like six months zero interest. Um, like you get the credit card, so that's where you know I, I get my my first um like camera upgrade, uh, which is a D a D six ten at that time. Uh, first uh, I showed I wanted I decided to go full frame on the D90, which, you know, changes a lot of things. Um, extended warranty, um, I, that, that time I did um, got the extended warranty. But then the more I used the gears, um, the more I, I had my camera, uh, you know, I, I realized that I don't really need it. Like, it, it's my own opinion, right? Right, right. Um, you know, camera changes technology real quick. Like, every three years, they have another, every year, every two years, they have a new version. Which you know you would want to have if you're really that serious yeah. about uh, photography, right? So, I agree. and I, you know, it's not that I don't really need it, but sometimes I think that um, I'd rather just you know save the warranty for the next upgrade. Right, and you can probably save it to you know have have your camera fixed if needed be. Yeah, you know, there's one place in uh, Sherbrooke. Again, I'm not gonna promote them. <laughs> But uh, there was a time that my, my lens broke. I have a, a Canon, uh, you know, 2470, my first one, the first version. So it broke, uh, you know, they're about like $1,500. I, I only pay like $300, you know, for to get it fixed, right? But again, that was my fault because I was, uh, I don't know, accident prone. <laughs> it, maybe carelessness, right? So, um, but usually like snare warranties are, are, are kind of around that price, you know. I. Maybe not, but I guess it depends on the on the store or retail or online, like how much they're they're offering it. So, you know, like uh, it has it, it has come down. I'd say you know, like the repair people are still afraid. Maybe you know, uh, because of sales pitch, <laughs> saying that you know, like the you know, just like cars, right? So it's gonna break, and then this is how much you you know how much uh, you're gonna end up spending for repair uh, for this, 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 and that. So. It's a good, it's a good peace of mind if you have it, right? That, yeah, and that's a good point. You know, it's a, it's a peace of mind for, for some. And I would, you know, say that. Well, when I was started, you know, I was also the same thing. You know, I want to have a, a peace of mind. Um, like for, for, for me, and and I know, like you, we, we kind of want something that's the latest and the greatest. Okay, well, not all the time. All right, but uh, of course we, we balance it out budget-wise, the client needs, uh, the technology, right? Um, like, wh wh where do you or when do you buy your stuff? Like, do you normally buy it when they go on sale? Wait, do you wait for Boxing Day or Canada Day or? <laughs> uh. I well, I, I usually wait out like a year or two. Um, like you know, because sometimes they have some the new the first release has some firmware issues. Had some like a little bit of like you know defect, not defects. I would I won't call it defects or things, like, but you know sometimes they move the next. They 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 kind of uh, release the next one with a like, little bit of improvement. Um, that reminds me when they had the uh, uh, D six hundred um, Nikon, which is like a good full frame, a um, little bit lower with price, uh, but then they had some issues with the sensor oil or something i'm not sure oh, yeah i think i've heard that's, of that before yeah yeah and that's when they released the uh the d610 which is they kind of fix those kind of stuff um and and you know if you get it right away after the release or you know um it, it's kind of expensive too right so if you wait up like 
uh, like a year or maybe like you know like back boxing day or sales unless you get a good deal right right and you know for me personally you know i've worked in retails for many years and and me i i'm into like gadgets electronics and stuff like that so for for cameras there is a i don't know if it's the right term you know like there's like a a circle i don't know circle of life <laughs> Cir- yeah. you know like when you buy a camera you know and if if you're you know like if they're us you know like event photographers you're going to end up selling it okay it's not something you're going to keep for like 10 years or yeah. let's just say 20 years right so you know like some people might say this is your investment you know like uh, do you want to protect your investment that could be part of the sales pitch i mean yeah they are investment in the sense that you know you invested money on it but for me they're not really investment because they are um you know we're in this technology where you buy and what do you call it this disposable technology i mean they're they're not disposable of course but uh, if you know what i mean right so they're they're not meant to last forever most of the extended warranties i believe okay Uh, again i'm just speaking this in my opinion we are not lawyers or anything so (laughs) most of them are like supplemental right so and and you might want to check out the fine print too what do you want to get covered right so there are warranties that covers um beyond the manufacturer's warranty like a supplemental warranty and ex- they extend it or some extend it from you know after the warranty has finished um or some of them they they overlap you know like if you buy a, a from from a retail store for example a four-year warranty well your manufacturer already has a two-year warranty so th- does it give you six no it still gives you four and most of these warranty manu- ma- ma- ca- camera manufacturers um, they want to take care of you first you know if some if something happens to your lens well you you bring it to them before you bring it to uh, to the store right and I believe that for for some other stores when you bring it to the store they're still gonna ship it to manuf- to to uh, to the manufacturer so you know, um, it's really hard to say. I mean, some, sometimes there are gray areas there. I mean, you can even buy gray cameras, right? And I believe some of them only have 90, what, 90 days for warranty. And that may be a good idea for you to get uh, an extended uh, warranty. Um, if you're buying used, okay, or like open box that only has like certain amount of uh, warranty. Uh, but again, warranty, you know, it is a business, man, right? It's uh, a... <laughs> Right. Uh, you know what? It, it depends. Feel like sometimes it's like we have some lenses that we want to keep like forever. Not forever, but for a long time. Um, like for example, the like for me, I, I, I the lens that I like or love using is the 85 1.4. Um, you know, so I, I would want to keep it longer, right? So you know, you can have that in the stuff that you want to keep longer, or you know, with other lenses too. You know, you want to just buy it, just try it out. Um, depends on your shooting style as well. Right. If it okay. work out for you, then you know you can just change it. Um, and you know I, I've seen and, and I'm, I'm not sure if you've seen this. Like you know the lenses, they have like a like a label, like an end of life. Is that the one that you're talking about? Like uh, a circle thingy? I'm actually no. That's the first time I've heard that end of life. <laughs> Let me get my lens here. Okay, I know they do have a manufacturing date. Um, that's as far as I know. And uh, of course, we know that cameras that have like a shutter limit, right? So I'm not sure if even manufacturer warranties would cover that, um, because shutter counts are just like mileage in your car. The higher your your shutter, right? Your shutter count. Uh, yeah. So let me show you something. You see this? Um, There's like a ten, like a circle with a ten right there. Okay. What does it say? Um, I just like a circle and a ten. Oh. Number. Okay. Um, I did well. I I heard some from some people uh, and you know, I read it somewhere um, that it's like like a that there's the manufacturer suggesting that the thing is like end of life in ten years. Mm-hmm. So depending on like the number the numbers that are written there, um, just like years equivalent to years. Okay. Now I've seen that in like you know I like this this pandemic I I started uh, biking um, since we really can't go anywhere right. And I've seen that that in some of the components, like brakes, like Shimano, SRAM, um, they have like that low that thing there, it, and then there's like four years, uh, six years. So it, it's like them suggesting it may be like a sales pitch, right? Uh, but it's like them saying that hey, you have this 
saying uh, it's good for 10 years, then, then you can just okay. use it. So it's like best before, you know, expiration. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, I think it will last longer than that because I have this sure. lens like yeah. quite a few times. Too, so. Yeah. And, and yeah, you know, like we, we advise most people, especially beginners out there, you know, or if you're into event photography, you just started out uh, your business. Um, to invest more in lenses rather than cameras because cameras they they tend to break they get replaced and again they have this shutter life right uh, lenses they're piece of glass uh, chance of them be you know breaking is less right i mean there's still it's still mechanical but it's mostly like moving glass um you know that that can be uh that can be repaired so invest more in glasses rather than like the camera bodies and then yeah you're right you know lenses of course would last longer that that could be some some sort of an investment because you can, you know, those last longer. I mean, you don't buy lens like every year unless you really need to. Uh, you know, uh, there's really like a night and day difference between the first version and the second version, right? Um, okay, so now before we proceed, uh, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Billy Boy Studios for my t-shirt. Thanks, Billy Boy. You can visit him at, uh, I believe it's uh, Suot Winnipeg or Suot WPG. So please check his uh, webpage. Again, it's uh, Suot. Okay. Thanks, Billy. My boy, Billy. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, ha have you ever uh, encountered like, uh, you know, failing gears, like memory card, and you wish you'd have, you know, you would have bought an extended warranty? Um, you know, uh, so what did you do or... Yeah, like what happened? Have you had that issue before? I did. What had one issue before? Um, like the the SD card failed on me. Okay. Um, it's like you know, because what I always do is like get the the card from the camera, put in the card reader, and copy it into the computer. Um, way before, what I used to do is just like uh, plug in the USB uh, from the camera to the computer and copy it that way. Um, in that way, you don't you don't need to remove the, the, the memory card in your camera and it's less less chance of breaking it right yeah. um so that happened to me once um luckily it was the the, the, the second camera that i have okay so i was like okay oh well, that's good i mean i still have the um what do you call this the the main camera is like you know more and more files there um and then that's when i realized that i i would never have like a camera that like have a single memory card slot um, so I always, that's, that's like number one in my, the, the, you know, the checklist in, in the camera, if ever I'll, I'll get a new camera. Um, and, and I think, um, when that's the reason why, when mirrorless cameras came out, um, I really wanted to try the, the Nikon, uh, the Z6. Um, but the thing is, yeah, that, you know, based on the, the, the things that I need, um, uh, it only has like one memory slot. Although they, I know they have like a like a more rugged memory. Because I, I don't think they have the SD card, right? It's a compact yeah. slot. Or? Yeah, it's a XQD. And in fact, I'm recording now on a Z6 with a single card. <laughs> I know, I know they're more reliable, right? Um, but I think that's the reason why um, I, 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 I got I got the Sony um, A7 III. Right. Okay. Two SD cards. And I, you know, I feel safer that way, um, right? I feel like there's a peace of mind, um, unless somebody stole your camera, then it will all be. Uh, right? <laughs> well, good news, Mark. Uh, you know, uh, there's already a Z6 Mark II. I know, I know, I saw that one. <clears throat> yeah. But you know what? Um, like, even though I, I, I got the, the second camera, Sony, uh, my heart's still with the Nikon. one. Um, like, I've been, even though like I'm when I'm editing pictures, I, I feel like there's something like you know something something different with Nikon. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, like me too. You know, like uh, I, I've used Sony. I, I don't have a Sony APS-C sensor, but uh, I, I think Nikon. Like overall, you know, for my usage and my personal taste, I find it you know uh, n nicer in terms of like the color rendition. And all that stuff. Um, I used to shoot with Canon. That's where I started, right? So you're going back to the Canon. I don't know. Um, maybe. <laughs> well, the thing is, I've already invested in Nikon lenses, and uh, you know, I like I like their like mirrorless. Again, the one I'm recording right now, the Z6, like their system, because when I s look for cameras, I use them as tools, right? So um, I wish you know the Z6 
have, have that dual slot. But again, never had any issue with the with a single slot uh, XQD. And now I have I've got another camera uh, with uh, with the second uh, uh, the Z5 with uh, uh, backup, uh, you know, like two slots uh, SD. Uh, am I gonna get the Z6? Uh, we'll wait for my review. Okay, <laughs> I'll wait for that. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's one of the things that I'm like I wanted to like I'm, I'm looking at too right now. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, then for sure. And, and again, that's the important of importance of a back having a backup camera, right? So having two cameras, you already have your warranty in there. You know, if someone if something breaks, then you have a secondary that you can use, right? Um, yeah. I'm not sure if here in Winnipeg, if uh, if there are stores that uh, have uh, like a loaner camera. You know, if something breaks, you only have one camera, for example, and you b purchase a warranty, they're gonna have you a loan, like they're, do, do you know, like lo like, like a loaner? Car, yeah, if you get the car fixed, then you get like a, like a court yeah, car. car. Okay. I'm not sure, uh, but I yeah, know I know they, they have some, some cameras for rent. Um, okay. Kind of the camera stores, but right. I've been heard about uh, like a loaner camera. All right. Well, if, um, yeah, well, I hope you guys are enjoying our discussion. I know Mark's gonna give giving us away, have a free giveaway like his, um, mm -hmm. It's Mustang, but you have to pick it up in uh, Antarctica. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hibernate mode there. <laughs> Where is it? Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have like like me? You know, personally, I I do have. Uh, I'm a subscriber for Amazon, right? I I found their warranties when when I add something on the cart. Okay, like for lenses, cameras, or even other electronics, they have like accidental damage. Which I, you know, I'm I'm not seeing in most uh, most retail stores or online store, except for one store. I'm gonna uh, mention that later. Uh, did you have an Amazon Prime or? You probably yeah, yeah, I, uh, I have Amazon Prime. Okay, well, for those people that doesn't have an Amazon Prime, you probably wanna check it out. Um, I'll post some links below so you can, you know, maybe sign up for your free trial. Is it, you know, in today's time, pandemic, I'd say you know, it is really something that. Uh, Maybe yeah. we want to check it. I've used it a lot myself. I've used it a lot this this pandemic. Uh, when everything closes down, you only can buy like essential stuff. It, it right. helps a lot, like you know. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I mean, I've seen the the Amazon. Like, uh, I was surprised they have like this accidental like it covers due to uh, drops and spills. I've got some notes here: uh, cracks, crack screens, mechanical and electrical uh, breakdown. So I'm I'm surprised they offer that one. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if someone had already an experience with it, but it is uh, it's reasonable price. You know, I, I was all, all, all almost tempted uh, to buy one, but I mean, when I was you know wanting to get my camera, but again, I've got two cameras, so I wasn't really like into it. But you know, probably that would be something that you might want to consider if maybe someone's getting something other than the camera or electronics. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know there is one store. And again, I'm not promoting this store. So I went to Alberta last year. Have you heard of Vistec? Yeah, I I seen their store online. I think they have a lunch shop too, right? Yeah, because I know they have this uh, accidental protection and stuff like that. I read their brochure. I think I still have it with me. So I think from all the other stores, that's the only store I've seen that has that offers that. I'm not sure of the cost. Okay, It'd probably be a little bit more. Yeah, but they do. Um, I don't have a way of checking their website because we're doing a, a stream right now. Probably could do it next time. But um, I know they did uh, or they do like accidental damage. So which is uh, something that's good. And plus, um, I actually bought some stuff there because it's, uh, you know, it's one tax. Yeah. <laughs> like like for me, the reason why I don't get um, accidental damage insurance is because I, I have like a, like a separate insurance for my gears. Um, when I when I had my when we purchased our home insurance, um, they had the the the, the guy gave me like a like a option if I want to add like a small business um, insurance. Oh, that's good. So like, yeah, you pay like not even a lot, like like a hundred hundred fifty a year for the for the whole year, and then you get like uh, accidental insurance with your gears um, if they get stolen in your house, um, if you're in an event and then you drop it or it, get stolen from your bag um you have like a limit uh, you have a limit of coverage okay it's, not, it's another peace of mind too 
Okay. And so I mean, it's a business, right? So uh, yeah. Well, was it like hundred? Oh, sorry, you said like hundred something. Yeah, it's like a hundred to one fifty. It, it, it's not much. Okay. Although you have like the same with same with uh, like car insurance, you have a deductible if you claim. Okay. And then you have to prove you have to prove to them that you have this camera, so you have to list down all jail numbers. Um, you have the uh, for, uh, you know the receipt of your 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 gears. You can you can show them if you get stolen. Okay, yeah, that's more of a like uh, an insurance thing, part of the insurance or coverage. Yeah. Right? So it, yeah, it's an add on for house house insurance. So like, why not? Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, then, you know, for for me, like personally, I've never bought extended warranties for cameras. Okay, because again, I'm the type of person that you know, every two or three years, I'm gonna be replacing them because it's normal. You know, it's I guess normal wear and tear, right? Um, yeah. It's, it's not. It's not something I'm gonna be keeping, right? So, I'm not saying it's it's uh, warranties are bad thing. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying I'm against to it, right? Uh, or I'm not even like recommending it. It still depends on the person's using it. Are you an accident-prone person, right? Are, yeah. are you hard on things? Are you, you know, are you out uh, all the time? You know, traveling. Maybe coverage would might would work for you. You know, if you drop or something happens on uh, on your camera, and you know, I would I would also invest in a backup. So that's like I said. Earlier, you know, that would be something that uh, that would be your warranty, right? So you got two cameras. Now, again, th these are in a, we are just talking in a perspective of, of a consumer, okay, or event photographers. Again, these are not like for commercial or big production. I'm sure, you know, they would have budget, you know, to to pay for the warranties and stuff like that. So, um, and you know, like I said earlier, uh, there's like this uh, circle, like you you. You know, I, I buy, I even buy use uh, like lenses. Do, you do, right? Yeah, I do. Um, like, you know, if there's something that I see online sometimes um, and, you know, it's in good shape, um, you just have to make sure you check everything. There's no defects. There's no cracks or fungus or anything like that. Right. And, and some manufacturers forgot to mention, they do offer like an eight year. What, what was it? Sigma or a Tamron? I think Sigma. 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 Yeah. Okay. Remind you, they only offer like limited warranty. So, but again, m most m warranties, th that's enough for you, you know, for, for, for it to last. Okay. So, and again, I, I won't be, pro I won't probably keep my lens for like eight years. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of lens, um, what is the one lens that you like, love using all the time? Like your go-to lens? Uh, my go-to lens, it's a 50 mil, one, 1. 1.8. Yeah, like travel. Really? Okay. Yeah, you know, it's because of the size, right? So it does everything. Plus, on cameras, I do have like a crop mode. So when I enter the crop mode, right, it just zooms in like an 85 mil. So if I need to do like portraits, so um, yeah, because when I go to, when I say go to, like that's when you go to like outside. So I want it to be portable. Um, so I want it to be something I can carry. I don't have to fiddle, you know, like a. Uh, with the buttons or settings or worry about like the weight uh, so yeah but yeah, other than that I mean for events I probably would still keep my uh, or have my 20 20 24 70 um, as my like like a wide angle lens and an 85 as my like portrait lens so is usually my you know um, combo <laughs> okay yeah. aside, of course aside from photo shoot which is 85 and 35 so um, I have a 105, but I don't have an adapter yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I got it from uh, Bobby. Okay, Bobby lent me his uh, FTZ adapter. Shout out to you, Bobby. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just got a couple notes here. So, um, yeah, well, you know, we, we always want to, you always want to check the, the fine print, you know, when you go um, get your warranty. Okay, not all warranties are the same. Like I said, some are only supplemental, right? So uh, some extends it uh, from the manufacturer, uh, after the manufacturer warranties end. Uh, so that'll be nice. Um, one thing I don't like about it is the supplemental because again, it's, it's kind of double, you know, def kind of defeats purpose. Um, plus the warranty will take care of, manufacturer's warranty will take, mostly take care of it 
Uh, anyways, and you have to yeah. keep in mind, like, who pays the shipping? Who pays the handling, right? So looking at the fine print, what's covered? Is it accidental, dirt, sand, whatever, right? So, again, we're not really going to get into much details. It's just, again, in our perspective, uh, we're not lawyers or anything, right? So, um, um, yeah, like, what, what, what are your... What what are your final thoughts about uh, you know for someone that's let's say new into photography or, or wanted to get into like event uh, photography just like you know we do um, sh should you consider getting some extra peace of mind or what do you think? Um, I would say the the most important thing is you have to make sure that you always have a backup camera. Right. Um, right. So it, like for me, instead of spending the the extra money for extended warranty, I would rather get like another second or use um, second-hand camera, and then at least I'll have a piece of mind, and then, you know, you have a backup gear, right? Um, and, yeah, for, for events, um, especially weddings, the, the, the events that we do, like weddings, you have to make sure that you um, you have redundancy with, with your files, uh, with your pictures, something goes wrong with your memory card, you have two memory cards, or you have two cameras. Uh, better yet, you have the second shooter, um, so you have four cameras now. Right, because you didn't want to like tell the client, "I'm sorry, I you know the card got corrupted or camera got stolen or stopped working in the middle of, of the ceremony." Right? right. So yeah, I mean, like for 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 you guys, um, just just do what you do best. Just enjoy what you're doing. Um, because the more you you love what you're doing, the the more creative you become, the more you express yourself. Right? Exactly. Like in, in this kind of passion that we have. So we we're all like like that like we started from somewhere right sure. and then experience experience really like teaches you a lot of stuff um it's the best teacher right for me right yeah well th thanks for yeah for the, uh, the pro tip there mark yeah and, you know like being success in this business uh, it's not an overnight thing right so like me i've I've been to, I've started like doing free, <laughs> right? I, and I think most of us would agree, right? So because that's how you get your name out there, right? That's how you show showcase your portfolio and stuff like that. So um, yeah, in terms of like gear, uh, it is something, you know, you want to invest in, pick out your gear. You don't want to, you know, be that person that like switching gears, uh, or I mean brands, right? Uh, just because. <laughs> Right, so just pick the one that you're that, that you're comfortable with. That uh, you know, most people go with the same brand because that's uh, you know, like they're, they're they're friends where they can swap out lenses and try it out. Right, so I've been to that uh, situation too. But um, yeah, you know, that, that's a good point. So you know, I, I thank you, Mark, for for this time. You know, for well, giving us some uh, insights. You know, about uh, you know our, our our topic today. I hope everyone had uh, some uh, or was able to you know grab some ideas or maybe some tips you know on uh, like how we do things you know, especially on this extended warranty thing or warranties you know for your camera so um, mark where, where can these uh, or our audience you know can can find you you know like your your facebook or social media yeah well right now i have my facebook page uh, mark goodilano photography uh, i have instagram as well um, but you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking of having my own channel. It's like, you know, you inspire me. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, no worries, man. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it's uh, our intention always to, you know, give value to our, you know, to our fellow uh, photographers or for everyone there that's starting out, um, you know, not just locally, you know, here in Manitoba or Winnipeg, but, you know, hopefully, um, you know, uh, international. I don't know. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, you know, that that wraps it up, guys. Again, thanks for tuning in. You know, if you made it till the end, give me a high five on the comment below. And uh, <laughs> I'll be posting some links. Um, you know, I had some uh, discussion with my previous uh, previous video. Um, if, you, if you still wanted to get some uh, information about like what, uh, uh, like the backup stuff that I use, please check out the other video. Okay, other than that, we'll see you again next time, all right? Thanks, guys. Again, thanks, Mark. Hope you have a good Thank day. You. you guys take yeah. care. We'll see you again. Okay, goodbye.